Hi guys, John here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Tika T3 stainless light. So this particular one is chambered in 33 Remington, um, which is a nice versatile caliber for shooting small game from rabbits and magpies, hares, um, right up to red and fallow deer. We're going to shoot um, a target at 100 meters, fire three shots at 100 meters, and then three shots at 200 meters with Winchester Super X 55 grain. So all going well, we'll get you through while it's touching. That's the plan anyway. Um, first I'll give you a bit of a rundown of the rifle. So it's got, just got the plain Tika stock on it. This, these stocks have still got good grip on them. Um, they've got a nice pistol grip. It's got the standard Tika trigger which is adjustable. Um, really nice trigger on this. It shoots very well. Um, from previous experience with this rifle it's very accurate. Um, and it's got a very nice trigger on it which always just helps your accuracy. Um, having a nice nice trigger is a lot of your, where your shooting capabilities come from. Um, being Tika it's got a very smooth action. Half cock, so it's nice and safe. So in that position your bolt can't come back. Um, but then when you want to you can close the bolt um, and then flick your safety off and you're good to fire. Um, it's got stainless Tika OptiLock rings. It's got a Leopold VX1 LR scope, so it's a 3 to 9 by 40 scope. So the LR means that it's got its um, long range, it's got two dots. So your normal duplex reticle with two dots. So this rifle's got the standard Tika T3 2D3 three shot magazine, which is very easy to load. Put this magazine in is nice and easy. Put the back in first, and you just clip the front end. You hear it click, so you know that it's well, it's in there nice and secure. Then at the front there to release it, you just push the little button, and it pops out nice and easy. One hand, and it's just nice and easy. It means you can be holding it with the other hand. So the T3 is now the old model um, Tika. So they've gone to the Tika T3X, um, which has got a few modifications done to it. They've adjusted a few things. It's got a new noise reduction stock. Um, it's got a steel recoil lug, which is going to be beneficial for your accuracy. Um, it's got new grips on the stock. You can also um, change the grips to give you a steeper pistol grip and a B before end, um, which is a very cool look. You can also, also get them in different colours, um, which can also look very cool as well. Um, so that's just a few of the little features that they've changed up a little bit on the new um, T3X. But this is just the plain T3, um, so it's the old model now, but still a very nice and reliable rifle. So this one has got a DPT suppressor on it, which also um, is going to reduce the noise, and it's also going to stop it um, from jumping so much or kicking so much. So it's just going to reduce the recoil a little bit. Um, so you'll notice that I'm, I'm going to try and put some scope cam footage in um, at, while I'm doing some target shooting, and you'll be able to tell that it doesn't move much. Um, which a normal 2 to 3 that's not suppressed would. So now we're going to head out to the range, like I said, um, shoot a 100 meter target and a 200 meter target. Alright, so here we've got the Tika T3 um, in 2 to 3. So, got a target set up down here at 100 meters. Pretty much the ultimate goal for me is to get three bullets touching um, when I'm shooting like this. So, all going well, we'll get three bullets touching at this 100 meter target. Right, we'll see how this goes, see if I can get three bullets touching. Right, I can't really tell where they're going through my scope, so I'll go over there and have a look at it. Alright, well I don't know about you, but... I can see three bullets touching there, so I'm pretty pleased. The only thing that I could say that I could do any better with that was to have this shot up with those two. And I'd say that, to me, would almost be the perfect group. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Now we're going to go, same ammo, same rifle, and we're going to go out to 200 metres. See if we can get a group looking the same as that. Right, now we'll go down there and see what that looks like. 
All right, so here we have the 2-3 at 200 meters. So that's my three shot group. You see, because it sighted in at 100 meters and it was hitting bang on in the diamond at 100 meters, see it's hitting a bit lower now with it starting to drop off a bit, um, which is expected. So you see those two there, I'm happy with those two shots, and then that one just lets it down a bit. Um, it should really, that one was over here, um, I'd be happy with that, but you see I've just pulled that one. Um, so that's my shooting. Right, so as you would have seen, we've been out, we shot this 100 and 200 metre target, three bullets touching, which is always good, and that's pretty much what I aim for. Um, then on the 200 metre target, I got two bullets, which I was pleased about, they were under an inch, um, and then the third one let it down a bit, I pulled it off to the right, um, which is purely my shooting, nothing to do with the rifle, because the rifle can definitely do better than that. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with how that went, hopefully that gives you a good indication of how this, of how the TK T3s will perform, nice and accurate. Um, and as you would have seen, how I said about earlier, um, about the DPT suppressor, that it's going to reduce the recoil, you would have noticed that um, in the scope cam footage. So, really pleased with how that went, um, so I hope that gives you a good indication of how they perform. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.